it's completely reasonable to think that there's life out there. There are just so many possibilities, billions of stars and billions of galaxies and all that, da, 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 da. surely there's life out there. Finding life, even primitive microbial life, would change our place in the universe by telling us that we're not alone. And it would most likely be an indication that we're getting closer to finding an intelligent civilization. It would be really fun if we could find an alien that, you know, could send me an email or Twitter or whatever all day long. But the profound question is, is life or non-life? Once we have the microbial, we have the potential for intelligence. But if we don't have a life form at all, we don't have the potential for anything. But what if we do find complex life out there? What would it look like? Would it be anything like what we see in Hollywood movies? It is humorous that Hollywood depicts aliens more or less the same way. There's a Klingon here and a Romulan there and there's slanty eyes and, you know, big old brains and so on. Any sort of alien that resembles a human is, is ludicrous. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. There's no reason that an alien would have to be adapted this way. Over hundreds of millions of years, all the creatures of our planet have adapted to their environment. So the chemistries are similar. Which means your genetic makeup isn't all that different from an earthworm or even your pet. Basically, all animals are worms. We're worms. We got a head, we got a tail, we're long and skinny, and that's how we move forward. Dinosaurs are worms. What people don't understand is that evolution is not a road map. Humans are not at the top of the evolutionary ladder. We're not the end point, the goal of evolution or anything like that. We're accidents, we're random. We eat through our mouths, but we can breathe through our mouths, and that means we can choke on food. That's a terrible design. But it's an accident of evolution. Maybe aliens evolved a different thing. Maybe they don't need to breathe. Maybe they can get oxygen in some other way. Anything like that can go, as long as it makes sense for the environment. So life on another planet would adapt to its environment and could be stranger than you could ever imagine. It's fun to speculate about how life might evolve under conditions that are very different from those here on the Earth. If you lived on a planet with twice the gravity of Earth, there'd be a lot more pull on your body, and you'd come crashing down twice as hard if you fell. So perhaps creatures there would have stronger, stockier bodies, with more legs closer to the ground. A planet with very little gravity would be like our moon, or Mars. I can imagine a creature on a low gravity planet as being long and spindly. Life on a low gravity planet may be tall and thin, with long, gangly legs. If life evolved on a very dense planet, where the atmosphere is soupy or water-like, you could see creatures as big as whales or elephants actually flying. Not through the air, but through this liquid-like atmosphere. I think we are currently uh, ignorant, actually, about the real, realistic diversity of life elsewhere. <laughs>